guys welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna be doing a reading vlog probably throughout this next week i just wanted to say that i finished may fly in one of my videos i mentioned this book this book is crazy like easily the craziest book i've ever read and i'm not putting that lightly if you like horror i need you to read this book and i want to know all of your thoughts because <laughs> this book is so unhinged is the only word that i can think to describe it but honestly only read this book if you can handle super gross gory scenes yeah i'm not saying this lightly like they're gross like you will physically be like your whole body will cringe like they're gross and especially don't read it if you don't want to know about what happens with a curling iron because i can never look at a curling iron the same way ever again so yeah i mean it's super short i think the cover is super cute in like the weirdest way possible yes i think it's cute so and i mean grady hendrix blurbed it on the front so if you liked it and you like his books they're not at all similar but i don't know it's a debut author so give it a shot and i really like the audiobook um i feel like the narrator did our main character really well because I feel like she understood that this character is not in the right mind and their voice just like portrayed that really well so yeah that's easily a five-star read and might be if not the favorite one of my top five favorite breeds of this year and we're just over halfway through the year so I feel like I'm hyping this book up a lot I just really want people to read it <laughs> and i'm currently reading two books so this one you'll see in a different reading vlog but in this vlog i'll be reading zero days by ruth ware i only have two days left on my audiobook and i did not realize that it's getting returned so soon and the wait time will be crazy long if i don't get it done so i really want to finish this one before it gets returned to the library because i don't want to wait like 30 weeks to get it again so yeah i don't know what else i'll be reading in this video but i guess that's the whole point of a reading vlog we'll just go along this journey together oh my gosh it's storming so bad and i've never showed you guys my dogs before so i have two this one's moxie and then the big one blue is blue bluey hi so yeah it's storming pretty bad right now so parts of this vlog might be a little bit dark. <laughs> so it's super stormy out and and my cat's being a little bit annoying. He always meows when he wants me, which is all the time. And I just finished filming my tier ranking video, but I wanted to check in and say that I got through so much of this book last night. Um, I have a little over three hours left in the audiobook and that's listening on 2.5 speed um i really want to get it done before it gets returned to the library which i think is either tonight or tomorrow night when it gets returned so yeah i'm gonna be working on this one throughout today and i just want to say that when i read the first chapter in one of my previous videos and things have changed so much since that first chapter like uh, i don't know how much i can say so i just read the blurb and I did not read it before going into this book at all. And it says something that like took me by surprise when I read this book. I just feel like that's why you shouldn't read blurbs because I feel like it gives so much away. Like it would have, like if I knew that, I feel like it would have ruined that surprise for me. So I'm contemplating if I should say what happens or not because... I don't know I just feel like I don't know like that's a big thing that like took me by surprise and it's like I don't want to ruin that for other people but yeah it's just changed a lot since that very first chapter and not in a bad way like I'm really enjoying this and I have my suspicions and yeah so I'm gonna continue on with this one and hopefully finish it by tonight <laughs> Okay, so I finished Zero Days, and this book was so much better than I could have ever expected. It's not like the typical thriller that I usually read, 
I just really liked how much it had to do with like technology and like having our main character on the run just because I really don't think I've ever read a thriller with our main character just like <laughs> trying to avoid everyone. <laughs> this book was super high stakes and I was just worried the whole time, especially because our main character Jack got like super hurt while she's like running from the police. She just has like a super bad infection that she like needs to get checked out, but she can't go to the hospital or anything because they would know who she is because like her picture has been like all over the news. So in this book, it changed a lot after the first chapter because I read it in one of my previous videos. So in that first chapter, you think what Jack's doing is like, illegal but then you realize in the next chapter that she's actually a pen tester and what that is is that she like tests the security systems of different buildings just so a real hacker doesn't get into their building or on their computers so Jack is just there to help these companies. She goes to the police and the police don't really understand like what a pen tester is so she has to like try to convince them that that this is like a real job and the thing is that she like got into this building on like a weird time on the weekend and so whoever hired her isn't picking up the call to like explain to the police like hey like this is real like she's fine let her go so the police kind of think that she's suspicious anyways so they let her go And then when she goes home, it's like 4 a.m. And she finds that her husband, Gabe, is dead in the house. So she calls the police and she like goes to the police station all over again in the same night. And so they really don't trust her. Like anything she says, they just don't really believe it. Just because with her story, there's just so many different holes that she's having trouble explaining to the police like why her story is the way it is and then things kind of go badly for Jack to where she needs to be on the run and so yeah like 80% of this book is just Jack trying not to get caught by the police and then while she's doing that she's also trying to figure out who murdered Gabe and like what their reasoning was so I guessed a lot of what was going to happen in this book and I was right about like 50% of the time and I knew the person that we shouldn't trust like really early on and so that kind of took a little bit of the enjoyment out of it but like not a lot like I still had so much fun reading this book and so I'm gonna give this a four star and yeah so the next book that I'm gonna read I got sent from the publisher and I'm so excited that I got this arc just because it's from like one of my favorite authors and I just didn't think that I would receive it and it's Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. And this comes out, I think, October 3rd. So yeah, um, so I'm gonna be reading a Christmas book in July and that's kind of fitting. So I'm just super excited to tell you all my thoughts on this one. So yeah, this will be my next read. And then before I get into reading that one, I wanted to tell you about this book. My mom got this for me and this is from the author who wrote Mexican Gothic which I liked and I really wanted to love it, but I didn't. So I'm super excited to try out this author again and yeah. And this book probably won't be featured in this video, but maybe in my next weekly reading vlog, you'll see this one. Okay, so I have one last update that I wanna tell you about. Um, I went to an alpaca farm and it was super fun. There were like over 60 different alpacas and I learned the difference between an alpaca and a llama, which is still kind of hard to identify because there was one llama there, but I couldn't tell you which one it was. There is one young alpaca. I think they said that she was like one or two years old, but her legs grew like inwards and so they have to put like different braces on her to try to straighten out her legs. And it worked better when she was younger. And now that she's getting older, they're struggling to find people to make braces for her that will fit her as she keeps growing. And I saw her trying to walk and it was just so sad. Her name is Christmas and she's super cute. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you about my time at the alpaca farm. And so probably the next time that you see me, I'll be updating you about this book. So I finished this book and before I tell you about it, I forgot that I wanted to show you 
um what i got at the alpaca farm they had like a little gift shop and some of the products there they make out of the alpaca's fur just because if you don't shave them in the summer like they'll like overheat and die so when you have all this extra fur laying around it's like you gotta do something with it and what i got i'm not completely sure if it's like made out of their fur or not but i got this little guy it's a little <laughs> alpaca it's actually a keychain but i'm just gonna put him on my shelf and like not like put him on anything but but yeah i think he's super cute look at him but yeah i have this little alpaca and it's so cute so i want to tell you about wreck the halls and i'm not completely sure how I feel about this one. I feel like this book could be set in literally any season and it would still make sense to the story. I feel like this is really heavily marketed as a Christmas book just because the cover and it takes place like two weeks before Christmas and then up until Christmas Eve. But honestly, there's like no wintry scenes in this like there was one snowball fight and that's like as close as we got to there being something wintry going on and i just feel like the setting could have been worked on in this book like i just wanted more winter christmasy vibes and i really didn't get that from this book so overall i really did like melody and beat and their moms were really annoying but i think my biggest issue with this book is that they're filming this show and the whole thing is live streamed so they say that there's like over a million people watching this live stream and the thing is is that they're not very good at like security and privacy like they're live streaming literally like going into each other's apartments like people watching will know the exact apartment they live in like the building, everything, and like one person figures out how to bribe the doorman into getting in. And so that's just my biggest issue with it is that I really liked the live streaming part of it just because you got like instant updates from like what people think of the show and like all this stuff. But the thing is that it's not really realistic. There just should have been more like safety measures going on. So it was like every time that they were live streaming, I just got like anxious. I was like, why are you like giving away your exact location and like all this stuff to a million plus people? I don't know. Like, yeah, it's a book and it's all fake and it's like, just for your entertainment. But like in the back of my mind, I still have like this anxiety about it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go with like either a three or a 3.5 for this book. And this comes out October 3rd. And honestly, you could read it in October if you want to. There's really not a huge reason to read this in December. Like if you wanna read a really Christmassy book that like gets you like, in a festive mood. I would maybe skip this one if you want it for that reason and read it at a different time. But yeah, I mean, it was still a cute book. So I'm gonna wrap this vlog up and give you a little reminder of all the books I read this week. So this one, I said three or 3.5 stars. And then Mayfly, five stars. Again, only read this if you can handle really gross horror or otherwise I don't think you would like this one. And then Ruth Ware, Zero Days. This is the one that I would recommend most broadly to people. Like I feel like a lot of people would really like this one. And I think I gave this one a four star if I remember correctly. So those are the three books that I read this week. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.